Hackerspaces are places that take a bunch of junk that no one else wants and make them into cool stuff. Make, yeah. So we, we take all of our parts out of stuff. Uh, you don't have to, you can buy new stuff if you want, but we all like to save money, starving college students. Yeah. So. Um, but yeah, anyways, uh, we're open pretty much 24-7. You come in whenever you want, use whatever tools you want. Really, it's just a really cool kind of creative environment to come hang out in and, and build interesting things. My name is Charles Guan and I'm a senior in mechanical engineering at MIT. I would really consider the atmosphere at MITRE to be a uh, combination of a, a treehouse, a um, I don't know, kind of a uh, DJ studio, uh, and a probably a kindergarten, um, and with a little bit of machine shop and mental hospital thrown in. Um, and the reason I say that is because it's extremely laid back. Um, you can try anything. You, you pretty much can build or do whatever you want. So it's very freestyle. That's why it's a, it's a kind of like a DJ studio. You mix up your own projects. Um, and people in here do things that are out of the ordinary or essentially the object of their creation that are not limited by what a department or a lab or would find, I don't know, would find normal. I'd, say, I'd put it like that. What I'm working on right now is kind of um, is a tank treaded skateboard, for lack of a better description. An electric skateboard that has uh, dual tank treads. So you'd stand on it, you can carve through snow, go off road, go in the mud, and stuff like that. What these guys do and what we do when, when we're here, relaxing, is making things. You know, for, for the type of people that seem to hang around in this sort of space are people who can't sit and relax in front of a TV. I, I can't do that. And a lot of people I know can't do that. These guys don't do that. They don't, they don't veg out on a couch. Um, and I think that's the kind of people that a space like this attracts, is people that, um, to, in order to relax, they need to um, actually expend energy. Um, when you just have done something awesome and you need just to celebrate with somebody and there's nobody else around, you can just kind of reach up. High five. And so I usually find myself most productive like in the late hours of the morning and I basically like to work all night. So um, it's just always productive here. I, like to always get stuff done. And I'm currently working on a musical Tesla coil that has been operational before, but I'm now revising it for higher power so I can get a larger arc length. So my name is Shane and uh, I'm a graduate student in mechanical engineering and uh, I like to work here in my free time building cool stuff. So this is uh, one of the things that I built. It's a robot that can drive in any direction and this is a model I made of it before I built it that shows how it works. I've always liked building stuff but this gives you a place to do it uh, with other like-minded people. You know everyone is, is uh, uh, doing their own thing, but uh, but it still feels like a like a, a community atmosphere. So it's a lot of people working together on different things. I was looking up for like projects to do over IAP, which is our independent activities period, and I wanted to make something like fashionable, and I wanted basically a workshop that I could go to to make this thing. And so then I discovered Miters online, and so that's how I found Miters. My two greatest heroes in life are Lady Gaga and Richard Feynman, and so. Lady Gaga came and visited MIT during the summer here when I was I was doing sort of this internship thing, and I figured like, what like which other tech school did Lady Gaga ever go to? I must be at the right place. Well, one of the reasons why I can't really pick between Lady Gaga and Richard Feynman is that they both represent like, I mean I'm not really very much into theoretical physics as an EE. I guess I use E and M every day, but nonetheless, like. 
I really liked Richard Feynman because he was very passionate about what he did. And he was also very unapologetic for his character. And I think that's something Lady Gaga is as well. She's very passionate and she's like, I don't really care what you think of me. I'm going to do what I want because I believe in it. People just really love what they do, and that's why like people are here. Charles, for example, has like repeatedly flunked—I wouldn't say flunked, but chosen to drop several classes so that he can spend more time building here. Uh, there's a lot of people who are working on projects like none of these things are class-related. It's just because people like to do it, and people like doing it so much that they're very good at it. So uh, when I first came here. You know, I liked making things, but I, I didn't have too much knowledge. And so I learned a lot from just from talking to the people around me. I feel like a lot of people look around in the world that they live in and don't recognize that they have the ability to change it. It's just so simple. Your desk doesn't fit against the corner the way you want it to. You could just cut the desk or you could just add a piece to the desk. Like, it, not that everyone has to do that, but just to recognize that that's actually completely within your capability. Um, this is my first time coming to Midas. Well, whatever the case is, please do something with it. Okay. Okay, this is going to be a wall-mounted blacklight lamp because the base of the lamp broke. And so I drilled the holes and took these screws into the back to hold this in place. And then when I get back to my dorm, I'll sink screws into these holes and sink them into the wall. And then it will stay there, hopefully. Um, I would tell anyone who has a uh, desire to engineer or be creative or invent, just come and show up. What I've discovered with people who don't know what we do or who we are is that they think we're, we are a very serious and very organized club, just like what they're used to. Um, however, once they come here, you really get the sense that they're kind of overwhelmed by this freedom and creativity. And it takes them a little while to get used to. We've seen this many times already. But that's how we get new, dedicated members that do great things. Is they finally have that chance to kind of unleash themselves. Um, and we're glad that we can provide them with that opportunity. And in terms of what people can do in the wider scope of things that are outside of MIT, don't let the order that you're forced to stay in stop you or make you think that it's not worthwhile for you to do your own thing. If you think you're capable of pursuing a, some endeavor, I think you should find avenues to do it.